here again and welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, today I'm going to be making a Valentine's sugar cookie um, that is shaped like a heart, of course. Uh, now I'm not going to show you how to uh, make the sugar cookie recipe. Uh, I'll do that in another video. Um, but the main reason that I wanted to show you, share this with you was because of the red hot buttercream frosting. Oh my goodness. Uh, you're going to absolutely love this. If you love red hots, yeah, this could be right up your alley. Uh, and then I may decorate the cookie with um, some uh, words like uh, hugs and kisses and X's and O's, like you find on the little conversation hearts uh, that you can buy at the store. Uh, but anyway, let's just go ahead and get started on this uh, red hot uh, buttercream frosting. Okay, to get started on our red hot buttercream frosting, you're going to need a mixer. Now you can use a stand mixer like this or you can use a hand mixer. It really does not matter. Um, so to my mixing bowl, I am going to add one half cup of Crisco. Uh, now this is at room temperature, so it's gonna be nice and soft. Um, you know, that just makes it much easier. Uh, makes your uh, frosting oh so creamy. So that's our Crisco. Now um, I need a half a cup of butter. Now you want your butter also at room temperature. So it's nice and soft and creamy. Love, love. All right. And now to that, we're going to add um, one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one teaspoon of almond extract. Now you do not have to use the almond if you do not like it, but I absolutely love almond extract in um, my buttercream frosting. And also um, around two tablespoons of milk. Um, you know, sometimes on your milk, you just have to kind of play with it just a little bit. So I went ahead and I'm going to go ahead and add my two tablespoons. Now, if it's going to be too much, then you're going to have to add more powdered sugar to thicken it up just a little bit. Uh, also, uh, there's going to be four cups of powdered sugar in here, but I'm going to go ahead and just let this mix just a little bit before I add that powdered sugar. Just want to get this nice and creamy and mixed up together. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and start adding our uh, powdered sugar and I just add mine just a little bit at a time and mix it up really good in between each spoonful. Okay, that is looking oh so awesome. Look at that. See how it stays nice and thick like this? That is what you want. Now here you can taste it if you like and see if you want to add more uh, flavoring like the buttercream or the vanilla. I mean, um, the almond extract or the vanilla. So I'm gonna go ahead and taste it and see what I think. Mmm. Oh my. Oh yummy. That's pure yumminess. Okay. Now to add up the Red Hots. Now you do not want to leave the Red Hots whole like this. You want to smash them. Now when you smash them, you want to go ahead and get them into your buttercream um, you know, right away because if you leave them too long, they're going to kind of start getting sticky together and all that stuff. So we're going to go ahead and get ours all smushed. Now I just use a regular uh, bag here and I'm going to put some in there. Now this uh, the amount is going to depend on your taste, how much, you know, red hot flavor you want in there. So I'm just going to do a little bit at a time and smash them and add them and taste and everything like that. Now at this point, if you do not want um, some of your icing to be uh, in the red hots, you might want to take some out, which I am going to dip a little bit out because uh, when I decorate my cookies, I do want some of the white frosting. So I'm going to take that out and then I'm going to smash these really, really, really fine. Okay, so we've got all of our Red Hots chopped up. Now, if you do not want to smash yours, you know, in a baggie, if you have a food processor, a food chopper, something like that, you can use that as well. It does not have to be uh, the baggie with the hammer. Uh, but anyway, I'm just going to add a little bit at a time and taste it and see, you know, what exact amount of Red Hot flavor I want in here. So, Let's have a little taste. 
taste. Oh my goodness. Awesome. Right there. That was about uh, three fourths a cup of red hot. But if you want it, even though there's a little bit more punch, you can just keep adding it until it's exactly like you want it. So we are finished with the um, red hot buttercream frosting. We're gonna go ahead and get our cookies uh, all nice and frosted and then start working on our little uh, words that are made out of chocolate. Okay, so now here are all of our heart sugar cookies looking oh so yummy. Look at that sweet. Now I am just going to go ahead and just icing the cookies with um, the red hot um, buttercream frosting. Now I reserve some of the white frosting as well because of this little, I made some little bitty bitty hearts uh, right here. I'm just going to put some white frosting on those and those will sit in the middle. I just made about four of them. I could do four, kind of like a double cookie. So I thought that would be just kind of fun. Instead of um, writing the little chocolate words, I'm just going to have a couple of these, which is a little white heart in the middle. So I'm just going to go ahead and frost in all of these sugar cookies. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and put on the little center heart just like that. Isn't that just so adorable? So all of our cookies are all icing and they're looking oh so yummy. Now I wanted to tell you that this icing you can use on cupcakes, you can use on brownies. Oh my goodness, on brownies it is absolutely fabulous. Um, so anyway, you can use this on any other cook, uh, any anything else besides just the sugar cookie. So I'm going to go ahead and get this kind of cleaned up and we're going to go ahead and make some chocolate words to sit on top of our cookies. Be oh so cute. Okay, so um, my chocolate is all melted and I need to go ahead and put it in my piping bag. Now what I use for a piping bag uh, is just a regular uh, Ziploc bag here that I cut just a little bitty hole in one of the corners and slid a decorating tip with a, a little round decorating tip there um, so I can write my words. And I'm just, to get my chocolate into my bag fairly easily, I uh, just drape my um, bag over a mug and put it all nice and snug down there so that I can just pour my chocolate with right in there almost on top of that little tip as you can see uh, and do not get chocolate all over my hands and all over the bag and just make a huge mess and then that way I can just pour it right in and that just makes it much easier on me now I am um, sure there are tons of ways that you can do that but this is just the way that I do it just thought I'd pass that little tip along to you um, now just to take it right off of the mug and how as you can see all that chocolate is just all right down in there so perfect oh, it's already coming out of my little tip there it must have been really really hot okay so now i'm just going to close that a bag up and i can start writing my little words now i'm going to write words like that are on those little um conversation hearts like i told you so you can use um, any words that you want. I'm trying to get all the air out of here because it makes it so much easier when there isn't any air in there. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay, let's see, I'm going to write hugs. Now, you know, this doesn't have to be any certain way. You can make it however you want. There's my H. And then my U. Now I'm kind of writing in cursive so that um, my letters kind of stay all together, but you do not have to write in cursive. 
you can print just as well and you can do this right on the cookie but some of them I want to stand up so that's why I'm doing it on this wax paper and I'm going to put kisses it's okay now I know this is upside down to you guys but I haven't figured out how to write upside down yet <laughs> so you'll just have to bear with me on that one hugs and kisses and X's and O's and cutie and sweet and you can just go on and on and on and make all here let me kind of turn it so you can see the words see if that'll help you just see them just a little bit better I'm gonna let these all cool off and we're gonna put them on to our cookies okay so now all of our little uh, chocolate words have uh, got all nice and hard and now we're gonna go ahead and put them on to our cookie. So here this one's gonna get hugs. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? And then, uh, well, let's see, we can do an X and an O. X's and O's, how cute. I'm gonna put them down in there just a little bit so that they stay. And like I say, you can put this right on the cookie, but there was a couple of them that I wanted to uh, stand up here. Let's, Let's see if we can get it to stand up. I don't know if we can get it to stand up. It might not, no, I don't think it's gonna work on hugs because it has that, um, I bet you we can get our X's and O's to stand up. I think that would be a good one to try to stand up. Just, I don't want it standing straight up, but just a little bit like this. Oh my goodness, isn't that cute? Okay, that is so cute. So can you see, let me hold this one up for you just a little bit. Isn't that just adorable? Oh, so cute. Now let's see, let's try to put cutie on one of these. Um, now this one, I'm gonna have to bring my little dot over because it needs a dot on its eye there. Oh, that one's so sweet. I love the little cutie one, isn't that sweet? Okay, and let's see. We need one that's, I'll bring this cookie over so you can see here. Um, Bring kisses over right here, right there. Oh, so adorable. Yay. Love it, love it. And let's see. Now this word right here, this sweet, I may break my tea before I get it over here. So some of these, you know, you may want to put right on to the cookie, but I just thought it would be kind of cute to kind of um, not have them sitting right on the cookie, but just here and there be in the cookie and, you know, some parts of it not in the cookie, so, or in the icing. So, oh, so adorable. Okay, one more X and O. And of course, I've got a lot more cookies to decorate, but <laughs> these are the ones that uh, I thought I'd just show you and then continue on decorating all these cookies. So cute. So anyway, I hope that gives you guys some ideas on your very own Valentine cookie. And like I say, anytime you do this, you can also uh, change it up the colors and use it for another holiday. It just does not have to be Valentine. Just because I made this on Valentine, you can use it for many other things. Easter's coming up, you can do an egg. Uh, St. Patrick's Day is coming up, you can do you know the, the, the clover. So many ideas that you can use uh, this same technique on. So anyway, I hope you guys give this a try because it is oh so yummy. Okay y'all, I hope that you will give this red hot buttercream frosting a try. Remember, it's great on cookies, on cupcakes, on brownies. Oh my stars, you would love it on brownies. It's awesome. Uh, but oh, I like this one too. Isn't that so cute with a little white heart in the center? Uh, and then, you know, you can decorate uh, with your melted chocolate. You can also use a white chocolate on this, or you could color your chocolate to make it whatever color you want it. You know, like lime green. That would be oh so pretty. So you can just do anything that you want, you know, and it's going to just turn out so awesome because it's the way you want it. Uh, but anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye now.